I am very fortunate to be just at St. Anne's. Kim Clinchy gets to really know her students at St. Anne's School in Emmaus. That gives her the opportunity to adapt her reading lessons to their personalities. What learning style they have, how they learn, uh, what inspires them, what motivates them, what interests they have. In this lesson, Clinchy is working on hard vowels, but she's teaching outside the box. Instead of only using the whiteboard, students are using highlighters, rolling soft dice, and even using their own bodies to spell out a letter. The multi-sensory approach is just using a variety of things, and I personally find that it's more fun. And when the teacher's having fun, then the kids are having more fun and they're learning. It changes things up, they get excited about like wondering what we're gonna do next, and they like to do a variety of different things. At St. Joseph the Worker in Orfield, Jesse Moser is typically working on reading, but in this lesson, it's time for some math. She aims to make her lessons reach more than the student. I only have a short window with them, and so I try to work beyond just the student. I work with the parents and I also work with the classroom teacher. By using her style of teaching to these smaller groups, those lesson plans oftentimes find their way into other classes, helping to educate rooms full of students she's never even met. So sometimes the biggest rewards come from seeing some of the ideas that I give them implemented in their whole class. And then their whole class comes up because of something that I've introduced where they are doing it in their class. I love that. That is the best. Moser is always making sure her students know the help they get from her does not say anything about their abilities or their intelligence. Some students leave her classroom to become the best in their grade. I'll tell you what, he's going to be the best reader in middle school. He's going to be top of his class. And so that often happens where somebody gets the help and they take off. The benefits of having CLIU staff in the Catholic schools does not go unnoticed by Allentown Diocese Assistant Superintendent Dr. Emily Kleintop. In fact, it's made an impact on her own child. Which was life changing, made the difference of making her a successful reader today and a successful student. Um, and that's just one story of many. I have personally, as a principal, experienced that support. I've seen the growth of my students in partnering with the IU staff and then as a mom. Dr. Kleintop acknowledges more than the reading specialists like Mrs. Moser and Mrs. Clinchy. It's also the psychologists, guidance counselors, and speech therapists all making a difference. Without these non-public services from IU21, the jobs of teachers and staff would become much more difficult. If we didn't have the IU services that we have, um, it would probably lead, well, it would definitely lead to a decrease in the enrollment in our schools because we wouldn't be able to meet the needs of a lot of our students. Even if we were able to try to make it work and, and, and support the students on our own, the stress level on our principals and our teachers would be so enormous that I don't believe we could be really successful. 